The sequel to the film adaptation of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, comes out this weekend, and I could very easily make a video about how Hollywood has corrupted this movie. For example, CoverGirl, the makeup company, is doing an ad campaign in conjunction with the film that's advertising all the styles of the film worn by the elites, and the elites in the movie are the oppressors, so it's ironic, very much so, that they're then selling these makeup styles to the girls that are fans of the hero that fights against the elites, but I don't want to make a video about that. I can make a video about how when the media covers this story, about how the movie came out, all they're going to talk about is the fashion at the premieres and the celebrity gossip and drama on set and how much money the film is going to make at the box office. I can make a video about that, but I don't have to because there's so much good in this movie that it's actually a high point. For one, it stars a girl that isn't just chasing after love or has a career and just forgot to fall in love, which is usually the central point of a female-centered story. It's actually a plot that chases after something bigger, and the plot is what matters most because it's about an oppressive government and a violent government and one that oppresses poor people and pits them against each other and holds a grip on its power while it keeps all the money and all the force. And the fact that this movie is going to make box office records this weekend and the fact that so many people are interested in it is a great sign, and it's really encouraging, especially because it's younger people that most read this book. It's a youth book, and it's something that the people of America, the young people of America, have responded to greatly. So it's very encouraging that this film is going to do great this weekend and I hope that over Thanksgiving conversations people are comparing it to what's happening today because of course the media is not going to do that. They're going to be talking about what Jennifer Lawrence wore at the premiere and how she had a meltdown because she was working so hard but the people of this country are going to be talking about its parallels to today and I can't wait to talk about it. I can't wait to see the movie myself and I'm looking forward to hearing what everyone has to say.